Hey everyone, it's Mr. N here, and today we're going to talk about how to partition a segment given the coordinates. Sometimes this is called a directed line segment, but basically the problem would, would be something like this. Given line segment AB with the coordinates of A at 1, 5, and B at 8, 14, find point C such that segments AC to CB are in a 4 to 1 ratio. So in other words, it's asking me where do I place point C so that I get this 4 to 1 ratio. Now, in class, we developed a formula for this, so I'm going to show you how to do this two ways. I'm going to show you how to do it without a formula, and then I'm going to show you how to do it with a formula. But let's go back to the basics. Since we want this 4 to 1 ratio right here that we're looking at, think of it like this. If I had a line segment, and to get it in a 4 to 1 ratio, I need 4 parts to 1 part. So, to do that, I need to cut this segment into five parts. So five equal parts. So one, two, three, four. So this is one, two, three, four, and that's one. So there's my four to one ratio. So <clears throat> four parts here to one part there. So what I really want to do now is if I quickly sketch what's happening, and this points at one, one, two, three, four, five, and the other point at 8, 14, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, so there's 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, way up here. This is my point A, there's my point B. I need to cut this into this 4 to 1 ratio to find out where to put point C. So as we said before, just like on a line, we're going to cut this 4 to 1, so we're adding it to 5. So I have to make this, say, f a length of 5, and I need 4 parts here, 1 part there. So what I can do is I'm going 4 fifths of the way in that direction, because I made this into 5. And where did I get 5 from? You can add 4 plus 1 to get that length of 5, and you need 4 fifths and then 1 fifths. So that gives me the 4, the four to 1 ratio. So what I want to do here is I'm going to kind of make a triangle out of this, a right triangle, and I want to break this up into a 4 to 1 ratio in the x's and a 4 to 1 ratio in the y's. So basically, I'm dividing it up just like that, 1, 2, 3, 4, and that'll give me my fifth spot right there, 4 to 1, and 1, 2, 3, 4, and then 4 to 1 this way. So I need to find out how much I changed in the x and how much I changed in the y. So in the x, we went from 1 all the way to 8, from here to there. So that's a change, a change in the x of 7. That's a distance of 7. How did I get that? 8 minus 1. In the y, we went from 5 to 14. So that's a change in y of 9. Again, how did I get that? I said 14 minus 5 gave me the 9. So I need 4 fifths of that distance in the x and 4 fifths of the y of that change in x and of that change in y. And to find the actual coordinate, I'll know what that change is, I'll know how much I change, but to find the coordinate I have to add in where I started from. This is 1 plus the extra. This one would be up at 8, I'm sorry, up at 5 plus the extra that you changed. So let's find out what that is. So in other words, the new coordinate, the new coordinate for the 4 to 1 ratio would be basically you're going to take that initial value, the 1 that we started off with, and then add to it what you changed, 4 fifths of that delta x. And then we need to take the 1, or the, uh, uh, and the y, we were at 5, our original, plus our change, which was 4 fifths of our delta y. So in other words, what we changed again in the x, plus our original, what we changed in the y, plus our original. So what did we change? Well, we know in the, ch in the x we changed a distance of 7. So I want... 1 plus 4, 1, plus 4 fifths of that 7 that I changed. In the y, I want 
the 5 plus 4 fifths of that 9, that distance. Not the whole distance all the way up, just 4 fifths of it. Not the distance all the way across, just 4 fifths of it. Does that make sense? So we're going to take our original here, 4 fifths of all the way over. Original here, 4 fifths up of that total distance. So working this out, you get 1 plus 28 fifths, and then this is going to be 5 plus 36 fifths. Okay, here we're going to add some fractions up. Let's finish the problem over here. So we'll have 1, uh, let's make this 5 over 5, since it's 1, it's the same thing as 1, plus the 28 fifths. Just working with some fractions. This will be 25 fifths, which is what 5 is, plus 36 fifths. Why do I do that? Because I needed to get this common denominator of 5. So now I can go through and add these up, which will yield 33 fifths, comma, and then 26, um, or 25 plus the 36 will give me 61 fifths. So that's the coordinates of point C. And again, we developed it by saying, okay, I want four-fifths of this distance, four-fifths of that distance. Why four-fifths? Because I need a four-to-one ratio. Four plus one is five. I need four out of the five and four out of the five the other way. So I broke it up into the x's, four-fifths of the x, plus that original point, four-fifths of the y, plus the original y point. So in class, we said and developed a formula for doing this so that we could just use a formula every single time. And that formula that we came up with was nx1 plus mx2 over m plus n, comma, ny1 plus my2 over m plus n. Well, what are all these values? Well, your first point is your x1 comma y1. That would be point A. Point B would be x2, y2. And m to n would be your ratio. So sometimes we call that A to B. In this case, we're just going to say m and n. And in this case, it would be a 4 to 1 ratio. So let's work with this, developing it how we did with the formula. So let's put in some values here. So I know that this was 1, 5, my point A. I know that this was 8, 14, and I know this ratio was 4 to 1. So let's put the numbers in the formula and see how this works out. So I end up with n, which is 1, times x1, which is 1, plus m, which is 4, times x2, which is 8, all over 4 plus 1, comma, and then over here I end up with n, which is 1, times y1, which was 5, plus m, which is 4, times y2, which was 14, all over 4 plus 1. Clean this up. What do we get when we clean it up? Well, we're going to get 1 times 1 is 1, plus 32, so this is 1, and this is 32, so I'll get 33 over 5. Over here I get 5 plus 4 times 14 is 56, so I'll get 61 over 5. Look at that. Using the formula, we get the same exact answer for point C. Okay, so let's try a second example. Here's our second example. Given line segment AB with the coordinates of A at negative 2, 3, and B at, neg at 1, negative 1, find point C so that AC and CB are in a 2 to 1 ratio. Now, again, I put, the other one was 4 to 1, this one is 2 to 1. It could be any ratio. Don't think that it's uh, singled out that this right here has to be a 1. It could be anything. It could be 2 to 3. It could be 2 to 7. Whatever it is, you're still going to add those two numbers up. So at this point, if you want to give this an attempt on your own, pause the video, give it a try, whether you want to do it uh, without the formula or with the formula, and then I'll go ahead and show you both. So hopefully you paused it if you want to try it on your own. And now let's go ahead and continue with the video. So since we want the 2 to 1 ratio, if you wanted to graph this real fast to see what these points look like, we're at negative 2, 1, 2, 3, right here for point A, and point B is 1, negative 1, right there. So we're looking at that directed line segment, and we want this to be in a 2 to 1 ratio, 
So 2 to the 1 right here. And I want to break it up into the x component and the y component to be 2 to 1 this way and 2 to 1 that way. Okay, so I need 2 thirds of the distance and 2 thirds of the distance. Where did I get that 2 thirds from? Well, I'm going to add 2 plus 1 and I get 3. So that's the distance I want. That's the 2 to 1 ratio. So as we said before, we want to find the delta x. Now you should be familiar with this delta x and delta y because that's just, we've done slopes before. So this is x1, y1. This is our x2, y2. So our delta x, how much we changed across in the x, is going to be uh, 1 minus negative 2. So 1 minus ne negative 2, which gives me 3. Our delta y is going to be negative 1 minus 3, which is negative 4. So that's how much I changed in the x, that's how much I changed in the y. And then we said we wanted our original x plus 2 thirds, 2 out of the 3, of our delta x. The original y plus 2 thirds of our delta y. So here, we're going to put these values in. So we're going to end up with negative 2 plus 2 thirds times 3, comma, original y. That was at 3 plus 2 thirds of our change, which was negative 4. And then we clean this up, and this ends up being negative 2 plus 2. And this one ends up being 3 plus negative 8 thirds. And we end up with 0. Here you could find a common denominator, so it would be 9 thirds plus negative 8 thirds, which would give you 1 third. So point C is at 0 comma 1 third. And that's where it would be to get a 2 to 1 ratio. So now we could do it with the formula as well. And using our formula, let me write down what the formula was again. So the formula was nx1 plus mx2 all over m plus n, comma, ny1 plus my2 over m plus n. And what was our values? Well, let's take a look at this. We had the point, here's our x1, y1. Here's our x2, y2, right up here for point A and point B. And then our m to n was the ratio of 2 to 1. So we just substitute all these values in to the formula. So we end up with 1 times negative 2, n is 1, x1 is negative 2, plus m, which is 2, times n, which is 1, all over 2 plus 1, comma. Over here I get 1 times negative 3, plus 2, times the y2, which was negative 1, over m plus n. And I go through and I clean this up, I'll get negative 2 plus 2 over 3, comma, this will be 3 minus 2 over 3, and I end up with the point 0 over 3, which is just 0, and then 1 thirds, which would be point C. Again, we did it through a formula method, and we did it through just knowing that you have to go, whatever this ratio is, add it up, you got to go A over A plus B, that distance, or in this case, since we're calling it M and N, we could just say that this is M over M plus N that distance, and then the distance in the y, same thing. All right, so hopefully this helped you, and good luck with partitioning segments.